G'day, welcome to Jesby Reviews. Now, today we're going to review a beer called Dale's Pale Ale. This beer is from North Carolina, US of A, 6.5% ABV, picked up at Dan Murphy's for $6. This is a 355ml can and it comes to 1.8 standard drinks. Let's crack her open. She's a pale ale, she's hoppy, she's got a bit more ABV, and she is active. Look at that. Something's going on in that can. She's been sitting a while and has exploded. Okay, let's see how she goes. Didn't expect that one. It's caught on camera. Got a little replay of that. Now this has been sitting at uh, uh, My Dan Murphy's for a while. I've seen it on the shelf, the last one. So I decided to buy it. It's not the freshest. But wow, it's a gusher. Right. Ignore the uh, the mess there. We'll clean it up later. What have we got? Very active beer. Something tells me this may be can conditioned. Maybe not. But she's uh, she's really gushed out of that can, and I've not stirred it up at all. You got one finger of uh, off white head. Can't see through it. It's a dark. It's on the, the, the amber the amber side of uh, colour. But. Um, yeah, appearance-wise is what I expected. The aroma. Uh, very, smells like an IPA to be honest, not like your traditional pale ale. It's very, uh, smells malty, smells hoppy. Uh, let's dig into Dale's pale ale. Let's put that can there. It wanted to come out in a rush. Let's drink it slow. Cheers. Ooh, look at A really nice hit of uh, caramel straight up caramel malts bitterness not as bitter as I was expecting with a hoppy bitterness lingering but it's not as um, I expected to be it tastes a bit more bitter it's got a nice nice medium body Together. I'm not a big IPA head or hoppy pale ales, but uh, this one has definitely got a nice, real nice malty sweetness. But it gets cleaned up, it's, it's not uh, coiny or anything, it gets cleaned up by the bitterness at the back. Citrus. Oh, yeah, bitterness lingering now, get more prominent. Lacing at this point. Probably like I did have the point because actually I would have lost a fair bit of beer if I had a small glass. Obviously if this can it's not as fresh. Fresh is best. I was talking about the Brooklyn uh, Lager review. You know, you want to get them fresh, especially hops, because the hops will fade over time. The bitterness will stay, but the, the citrus and that. So it's lost a little bit of that because it's been sitting there God knows how long, but it still tastes really good. Um, like I said, it's got a real nice sweetness, it's bitterness, it's citrus, meaty mouthfeel, it's not too fizzy or bloating. Sessionability, not really high due to the ABV. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's round her up for a score for Dale's Pale Ale. I've heard about it for years, and uh, it lives up to it. This is an A-class beer, an A from me. It, it's better than I was expecting. Obviously, fresh is best if you're a hophead, but, you know, in Australia, you take your... your beggars can't be choosers, so an A for Dale's Pale Ale. Really nice. All right, thanks for watching the episode of Jersey Beer Reviews. So long from the Dove Dale Inn, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.